Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about how to button your suit. Now, this may seem really simple, but let me ask you, have you ever seen a two and a half jacket? Do you know what a two and a half jacket is? Basically, it's a jacket that's a three button jacket, but it's designed to be worn like a two button jacket. So this actually right here is a two and a half. And this is actually not designed the way the lapels roll over. This is not designed to be buttoned here at the top. So buttoning men's suits jackets aren't as easy as you may think, because when it comes down to it, sometimes there are buttons and buttonholes and they're actually not meant to be used. A lot of this goes back to history. King Ed the seventh supposedly is the guy that gave us the rule because he was so large not to button the bottom button. Why does this rule still apply? So we're going to get into this throughout the article, but uh, really quick guys, if you like this video, would appreciate it if you'd like it. And if you want more information, Hey, I've got an entire article with information I link to down below. In addition to my free 47 page ebook on men's style. Okay. So, What's the history? Well, I was talking a little bit about King Edward the seventh. So supposedly there is a rule that you never button the bottom button. And that is, I mean, when it comes down to it, and we're talking single breasted jackets here, uh, I'll get into the rules for each of them. But one of them is that you never button the bottom button. Now, the reason that rule still applies today, most jackets designed are designed not to be buttoned. Therefore, the cut and the way it drapes, the way that it's made to fit on your body is actually so that that bottom button is not buttoned. So when you button it, what happens is you get a more constricted look down there, not on all jackets, but on a lot of them. And that's why I recommend you still follow this rule. Now, what was I talking about with the, uh, with the top button? Now this is for three button jackets. This one is sometimes. So the rule is, and I've seen a couple different acronyms, different ways to remember this, but on a one button jacket, always button. It only comes with one button. Therefore you will button it. One button jackets mostly seen for men that are short of stature. It's a great style for them. In addition, black tie. That's where we see the one button. Anytime you stand, button it. Anytime you're seated, then you may unbutton. Two button jackets going to be one of the most common in the world for most men's suits. Two button jackets. The rule are, or the rule is, whenever you stand, the top button always. The bottom button never. So pretty simple. Always and never on two button jackets. Now let's go to three button jackets. Three button jackets. The rule is sometimes, always, and never. I've also heard maybe always and never. And a gentleman who wrote that, it, you know, basically it says the word man. So that one's probably pretty easy. Now, when it comes to four button, five buttons, some of those more eccentric ones out there, uh, those rules, I just apply the general three button uh, stance to them. So all of a sudden, the always becomes the ones in the middle and the top button becomes sometimes or maybe and the bottom one never. Now, this doesn't necessarily apply to vests. To vests, the only one that maybe applies is the bottom. Although vests, there's a lot more leeway. And uh, well, I still, if I'm wearing a vest, doesn't happen very often, I will not button the bottom one. Now, what about double breasted? Rarely seen nowadays, but with double breasted jackets, anytime you're standing, you want them all fully buttoned, uh, except for you can not button that, uh, that bottom one. So pretty much the same rules with double breasted. I go into it in a lot more detail in the article. So go check it out. If you've got any questions, make sure to leave them right there in the comments. Would love to hear what you guys think about all this stuff. And if you want more clarification, again, the article has a great visual, has all the images that I just showed you in the video right there for you to uh, check out and share with your friends. All right, guys, if you want more information, you know, I've got hundreds of free videos out there. I've also got my courses. I've got a man's guide to style, which is my basically my 24 hour study course. I've got build your wardrobe, which is my private community. And I've got my style system going to be launching that again here soon. So make sure to sign up for that if you want a college level course on men's style. Take care. I'll see you in the comments. Bye bye.